Sam. <laughs> Today I'm pissed off is what I was gonna say. <laughs> Fuck sakes. I can't win this week, you guys. I cannot win this week. God damn it. Possibly the most annoying week of my entire 30 years on this damn planet. I just. Okay, well, today I'm pissed off. Why? Because I had a horrible Tuesday followed by a stupid Wednesday and then a kind of annoying Thursday. And now we're here on a Friday, and I keep getting interrupted by a fire alarm while I'm trying to film a video, and this is supposed to be out on a Wednesday, and you guys don't really care. You're like, where the hell have you been, Dill? You promised us you'd be back this week. Well, I'm trying. Can't you see what I'm doing right now? You guys like my mic? It's a banana. It's not a real banana. It's a fake banana. Anyways, what the heck, Fuji? For real, dog. What are you doing? Just come back. I don't really care what your excuse is. I want this film stock back. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Dill, this is any ways. What the heck is Fuji Pro 400H? I had to really think about that one for a second because my brain just bloop. It is a high speed, wide latitude exposure film. Sure, I think that was correct. Uh, superb and fine skin tones is what they say. Has a 3D-like appearance, apparently. Accurate color reproduction, something like that. Yeah, basically it's a 400 speed C41 daylight balance film. You guys knew that. We all know that. I'm pretty sure anyways, I don't know. I don't think I'm the, <sighs> shut up Dylan. Where did it go? Where has it been? It disappeared in 2021 as in it was discontinued. Why? I don't really know. I don't think, well, I don't know. I only assume it's because uh, Fuji hates us, but in reality, it's probably because it's hard to source raw material, um, or their margins just aren't good enough, or a little bit of both. Probably a little bit, a little bit of both. Um, plus, they sell a lot of cameras based off their uh, film simulations. I'm part of the problem. I got one right there. I wouldn't say it's a problem. Shut up. You know what I mean. It's gonna be a tough episode. Okay, bear with me. There was a comment out there about my rangefinder being uh, out of calibration due to bad focus. Um, I ignored that one specifically because it was my G1 and I just didn't want to believe that my G1 was going to die on me. But I had a weird suspicion that it was because it died and whatever, it, like the, that, the battery died a while ago while I was still shooting and it made a weird noise. I digress. We're good, baby. We're good. The G1, the G1 lives. It's good to go. It focuses, it does its thing. You know, it's the life of owning a contact. It's just scary, essentially. What am I rambling about? I, I messed up, I'm trying not to swear. I messed up the Phoenix 200 from last week. It was me, not the camera, not anything else. It was just me, it's always me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch last week's episode. If you do know what I'm talking about, well, thanks for being here again. Anyways, 25 stars. Yeah, you heard me, 25 stars. Next. Look, we go through this every time. Good scans, good resolution. You know what I mean? It's just always how it's gonna be. We're gonna have to shoot some real bad film to get some bad resolution, I think. You know what I mean? Anyways, 25 stars. Yeah, 25 stars. I know I normally give an eight, but I make the rules, not you, me. Me, okay? Moving on.
been a hectic week and I'm really just pushing here, okay? So you just, just appreciate it, okay? Okay, appreciate the rawness of Dill talking into a banana, okay? Just appreciate it. Thank you. Anyways, what do you think I'm gonna say? 25 stars, that's right, you're smart. You guys catch on quick. On to the green category, the next one. Whew. For real though, Fuji, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do for you to bring this back? Not just like dig up some frozen stock and sell it with a new friggin' packaging or whatever like you've been doing. Yeah, we all know you've been doing that, Fuji. You can't lie to us. Well, actually you can. Most corporations can lie to us. They can do whatever we want. Whew, it's gonna be a rough one. Okay, 25 stars. I like it. It's just good. It's nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I don't know. I would shoot a lot of it if it was available, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. I remember when I first got back into film during a time era that I don't like to talk about. COVID. But uh, I just, for whatever reason, ignored this film stuff. I just thought it was lame. And then shortly after I started, it was uh, discontinued. And uh, that was sad of me. That was sad of me? That was bad of me. That was... I don't know what word I'm looking for here, but that sucked. Wish I would have shot it. Wish I would have bought a whole bunch of it. So, uh, yeah. Anyways. Here's the list. All right, I'm gonna yap away. Maybe I'll show some photos that I liked. Maybe I won't, I don't know. Anyways, I have two more rolls of this stuff. I think the obvious and cliche video is Portra versus Pro 400H, whatever. Gives me an excuse to try out some Portra. Um, but how should I shoot that? I know it's really popular to shoot Portra at 200. If anybody has more experience with uh, this Pro 400H, is it worth shooting at 200? Should I try it at 800? I don't know. We all know Portra can go both ways, so somebody talk to me about this stuff and let me know what your experiences are. Um, and that leaves me with one last roll. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. I think we'll just save that one for a while. I don't know when the Portra verse this will come out, by the way. But uh, I think that's the plan for these next two rolls. So everybody go in the comments and thank George. Georgie, I'm sorry if I... You, my brain's like... Anyways. Thank you to the friend of the channel who sent me this film. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you appreciate this episode. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. It's been a while. You guys want to, like, my, you know what? I don't have a therapist anymore, so you guys are all my therapists. Get it? Got it? Good. Anyways, um... Thanks. Love you. Bye. Me and you, baby. Center of the universe. Fuck, this thing's gonna drive me nuts. But I'm committed to the bit with the banana, so here we are. Anyways, yeah, that is me as a clown. No, I didn't paint it, but I am a clown, so I think it's appropriate still. Oh God, I'm losing my mind, aren't I? Um, I smashed my phone this week. I had a, vet bill, bleh, a really expensive vet bill this week. What am I talking about? This is film review. One of those weeks, I'm talking into a fake banana right now. I'm 30 years old. And they say I couldn't stock produce. Shake my head. Did I just say shake my head out loud? Well, I think this clip is gonna be entirely bloopers.